you know, it seems a little harsh. We've not even gotten to the second leg. This is right after the first leg of our of our second knockout round. But let's show you who you could or could not get in the next rounds. Like, so that if you're out, you can feel devastated or relieved, I guess. I don't know what the point of this is, but let's go take a look. Okay. So we would get either Lokomotiv Moscow or AC Milan, who have the 1-0 lead. I'm I'm thinking we'd be cheering for Moscow in that point at that standpoint. What do you think? <laughs> I may have to get a Ricardo Kishta tattoo somewhere on my body in reality. Get in, son. Watch this ball. Comes down. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Zip. Poof. Oh, so good. We beat Heracles 2-0. Novakovic can't stop scoring. He gets the put-it-away goal in the 94th minute. My friends, can we take that momentum to get into the next round of the Europa Conference League, which is a mouthful? Let's go find out. Hello, my friends. Welcome in. I think it's episode 18. That result jumps us, jumps us, keeps us at eighth. I don't think it jumped us anywhere. Gronigan is three points behind us, and it, and it asked us in the press conference if it put pressure on them. So apparently they didn't do well under pressure. We are six points from seventh and a minor increase in income, and we're a whole ten points away from sixth slash fifth. It's a little ambitious, I think. No real transfer news. This whole, like, nothing has really changed. Our finance, $29 million and change. We're, we're sitting pretty. Things are looking lovely. Dynamics going all right. Um, uh, Amofa out with injury. Bedoya not back from injury. Attila's got a tight something. Hammy. He's got a tight hammy. Good for a day. So how we line up today is pretty much the same, except DeBoer comes in and takes the advanced playmaker role. Um... Dante Rigo on the bench. Pete Bayan can only go 75. We've gone back to having the cover on the ball playing defense. Ball playing. Yes. Yes. But the passing is a 12. The vision is a 10. What if we just do cover? Let's just try and keep it simple. Davis comes in at left back. Nielsen on the right. My friends, we just need to keep a clean sheet. Keep a clean sheet. This is how the other results look at Benfica over... Oh, this is the Europa League. We don't care about that. That's not at our level. <laughs> no advice? None whatsoever. Aside from the opposition instruction, which I ignore. Because, I, I I don't know. I just feel like we just have to play in our structure, right? So, like, having players run all over the place, it just seems like a bad idea. Um, Let's take a look. Yes, they brought in the main man, Isaac Keith Thelen. Okay, and they've moved Yari out to right wing. Interesting. Michael Vlap takes the middle role. He's not got nearly as many assists. That might be okay for us, but we're gonna we're gonna tell old uh, Augustin. Sin, 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 sin. Oh, I, for, I keep always forgetting. There's all these like you move stuff around tactically, and then you. You, you lose track of it. We're going to tell him to mark him. Take their top goal scorer out of the game. And I'm going to put that as a like an all-the-time thing. I think everything else would just leave. Except... I, I, mm, this guy's quite good, too. So we're trying to keep him from getting the ball. And if we've got it, we're going to close him down. So again, I what I mean from opposition, I know I just said when I'm listening to the opposition instructions, but like I don't listen to the assistant. Right now, our assistant usually says we should play very defensive. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not listening to that. Plus, hey, Mark here, hard tackle there. Bop, 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 bop. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not all about that business. All right, here we go. Happy little graphics here. We've only won two of our last five, not six. They've won three and drawn the other two. But both teams come in without any losses in the last five games. A little march out here. I think it'd be cool if in FM22 they had the mascots, you know? What do you think? You little people holding your hands? This is going to be the last episode in this shirt. I've done three in a row. I hope you can understand what I talked about two episodes ago about uh, the Christmas time period. I'm trying to get some episodes in the can so I can focus on the experiment series and get that released. Um... 
and take some time off over the holidays and gets into the mixer dangerous territory but they get it loose and here comes the counter it's we're gonna keep them from getting in trouble this year haha <laughs> trouble oh Shaq just played it played it calm he's like I got it I got it I got it wait for it wait for it boop we'll, we'll stick a foot in love to see it I'm a little nervous because Shaq is like one of the dynamic things the only negative he's got is he's thinking he should move on to a bigger club and our assistant has said he needs match experience at a higher level and I'm like well we're we can't get any higher in our league, in our in in our country. I mean, we could get Champions League or Europa League. Jonathan Augustin, son, 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 son! first goal of the season. We should go to the some sort of defensive formation, but we're not gonna. I don't. I don't think. I don't think one is enough, my friends. And it was a center back scoring on a set piece. We'd like to score from the run of play, but tall lad comes in first goal of the season. Good time to get one. Get in. That was a low percentage chance in comparison to the one we had earlier. The one we had earlier was 0. .41. Because obviously it's like sitting in the middle of the six-yard box getting clattered around. Come on, boys. That's It's giving me a weird thing. It's like, oh, highlight. Oh, oh. Okay. Ball comes out. Leaf is going to let us get into back into like some sort of a regular shape. Plays it for you. Two men chasing him down. Davis. DeBoer, what's he got? Okay, Shaq. Swings it. Okay, unexpected. Kishna. Okay, I thought that was going to be a penalty shout. Shaq! Oh, would, probably would have been interference there from uh, Vecchia. Okay, Van Krombrugge. What a name. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no! The pacey man! Oh, dearie me. The pacey center back makes a mistake, but he had two guys helping him out. That was a poor attempt, too. Goodness, boys. We have shorter passing on. I should point that out. You're on cover. You're supposed to sweep up the through balls, not try and cut them out, right? Is that was that the thing? I'm gonna. I dare I try and encourage. No, should have gone. Demand more praise, apparently, because we've got the one nil. I just think you know we've only got four players in the green. You know, you know. Dare let's let's try this. Late in the half, praise. Yes, yes, we fixed it. We. <laughs> It's like I need a little spinny wheel here to spin. Which one are we going to use today? Luis, who's quietly had a very good season, I would say. He's on a 6.7 today, but, you know, doing all right. Lewis Nielsen, the Scottish youngster. He's on an impact subcontract. I don't know if I ever showed that to you, or if I did, it's been a minute. He's been played as a starter. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to tumble in with the angle. Oh, oh, felt pretty good. Oh. Oh, can we get a killer for for us? Not oh, no, no is the answer to that question. Unless he doinks it off Karanza's face here, he doth not. But it's head away by Uis. Kishna comes back. Ricardo Kishna. <laughs> now you do it. Let me know if your significant other or family member was like, "What are you doing?" Ricardo Kishna. <laughs> no, just. Just me. See, my family's not here right now, so I can. <laughs> um. Mm, point finger. Don't get complacent, lads. Uh. I believe you could do better, mate. I'm gonna say the same thing to Leopold. All right, we're feeling it. We're feeling it, people. Let's go get. Please, I know it's all positive right now. All it takes is one goal from them for it to be horrible. So we need to keep pushing on. Marillo cuts it out. Is it a good luck garage door? What do you think? What do you think, Pekka? Let's go. Oh, set piece. Oh, he's offside by a mile. Ruff's got his hand up. Thank you. Thank you. Watch those lines, my friends. Ooh, ooh, lots of movement in the box. Away. The trouble winner. Oh, good tackle from Panya. You don't expect that out of the advanced playmaker. Or Shadow Striker. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, no immediately no immediate thing. They're gonna look at it in the and the in the commentary box or the the team it didn't pop up i thought where they were getting a review did i block out
It didn't pop up to say it was like his first goal of the season. Uh, okay. Mmm. Mm, I, I was super confident there because it didn't pop up with the box. Is that an error? Or, or did I just block out? Sometimes you just wonder. Oh, Becky gets cut down by Bundu, the man who just scored. Referee look calls to the VAR, lads. Who is that dancing around? Carranza. I think it was, I think it, yes, penalty awarded. Oh, Shaq's taking, it's too late to change it. Oh, no. Oh, there's the ninth goal of the season. There you go, enjoy that. Shaq slots it home. I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna risk it. Double goal. Oh. Calm as you like, composed from the holding mid. They're loving the praise, and immediately we're gonna give up a set. Peace away, lads. Again, I'm, I'm peace to me says, oh, go slightly more defensive, but noise bug. Sorry, crowd sounds. That's a name and a half, isn't it? I'm not even going to attempt it. But we've scored two playing this system. Now, one of those was a penalty, but you know, needs must. Leaf. Forces it back to Murillo. Oh, oh, did he nutmeg him? Oh, dear. What a stop! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Augustin sends on a 7.7, .7, man-marking the garbage out of that man. Leopold comes out. I love the name Leopold, not gonna lie. That's a great little collection there, sir. Anybody's game with over a half hour left. Fine margins. Mm, that's a terrible attempt there. Our passing has been subpar. Davis collects. Play it back, son. Nice. Nice. Oh, I want somebody doing this on the pitch. Doinkage. Okay. Gets a Dvecki out in space. Kind of in between their winger and their fullback. Ooh. Jukes his man. Is he going to get another penalty? Oh, it was Kishna offside. Or I guess maybe it was off the defender, so maybe not. They, they start the counterattack. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, way out of position here. Who is that? Augustin. Mate, that's your man right there. Why, why'd why you go chasing the ball, son? Oh, no. Oh! That's never a penalty. Never a pen. It's like, should we should we drop Shaq to the DM and man mark him so Augustinson can do his job and not leave acres of space as he goes chasing him around? Maybe, because I kind of think that's what they're they're exploiting a little bit. We've seen some action on this side of the park. I'd like to see if we can get an extra goal though. If we can get a third goal, then we'll probably change up our shape a little bit. Because I can always drop Panya back to the attack uh, to the central midfielder, advanced playmaker type role. Just bring us back a little. Well, that way we leave the personnel on the pitch too. Is the other thing. It's a little early to ole boys. Oh oh oh! Kishna gets past this man. Kishna. Oh, it almost dribbles in. Oh. Is this even on? Hold on. Yes, this is extended highlights. I guess I didn't change it for the last game against Heracles. It's like, wow, this is a lot of key highlights. <laughs> oh, dear. Shaq, a car, a car. Runner, runner. Oh, just run right into him, would you? Goodness me. He was making a run for you to play the ball into. Chip it over the winger. Play it into Vecchia. Vecchia gets past his man. Vecchia. Oh. Smashes it. Smashes it into the side netting. I did have a game uh, several episodes game, uh, ago where, like, we had, in the first half, we had, like, four shots get smacked into the side netting all on Kishna's side of the pitch. And I was like, is this FM20? What's happening? DeBoer, with his 10 tackling, made an attempt. It didn't work. It's fine. Okay. Davis is there to collect. Nice. Everybody back in their shape. I love to see that. Like, they just disperse. Goes on a little Matip-type run. DeBoer. Oh, okay. Mate, playing a little close to the, to the, to the margins here. Vecchia, again, lots of space they're giving him. Oh, he finds Kishna. He's got Carranza in the middle. He sticks with it. Carranza finishes. 21st goal of the season. I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to do what I said. We're going to drop this. Wait for it. You go here. You go here. You're either footed. Um, I'm fine with you doing 
a little box to box action. You do the advanced playmaker. You stop marking a specific player, but do the cover. And then you mark the striker. So theoretically, that makes our DM a little bit more, right, like part of that back line type situation. I'm hoping this makes us a little bit more solid because they, they did have several, like down that right side, and I feel like it was because Augustinson was chasing or, you know, going this way, that way, all over, which left, you know, Davis in a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two situation if they had a, an attacking mid coming forward. My friends, we've got one fingertip on the next round. Would be massive. Oh, I was going to praise, but I guess we'll watch a highlight instead. Maybe we should go balanced. It's more of a like, hey, lads, let's, let's chill out, shall we? Davis wins that. Kishna. Okay, Kishna. Oh, finds Carranza. Oh, yeah. Still playing the false nine. Try and draw them out to get the wingers in, into the mix. But maybe we'll switch to like deep line forward, something like that. Not sure. Panya, Carranza. Oh, that's a cheeky little pass. Davis on the kind of the overlap. <laughs> Ooh, that's why you're a left back, son. That's why. Let's let's do let's let's praise again, boys. Let's go. Keep that morale going. Panya's now knackered. Great. Away. That, you know, gets the job done, I guess. I want to watch their okay, their that's their um Striker, okay, Marullo now has Davis collecting more. That, that player has been open, whoever he is. We had two guys marking him. He still gets his head to it towards the keeper. Not exactly, you know, what you want to see, but, I mean, maybe we made it challenging? I don't know. Kishna against the world with Carranza gets taken out. Is that? <gasps> oh, no. What was he doing? He had no need to do that. He had players all around him from his squad. My friends, is that the deciding moment? Is that the deciding moment? We are going to take our more attacking player off, I think. Or we'll bring on Dante Rigo. Big, big game, Dante. I feel like I should change that to be a support role. We don't really need hmm, panic stations in my brain. I mean, we've got a you know a lead of two goals and ten men. You'd like to think, but it's like you just never know. Crazier things have happened. Do they have the fight to come back? Carranza swings and cross Kishna. Oh, we got it. I mean, it was a good attempt with a first time volley. No complaints from this guy here. Always checking if my mic is on and recording. You always get nervous, especially when you record three episodes in a row. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! Rigo plays it off. Kishna. It's too. It's too. It's too weak on the footing there. I think I'm gonna put uh, him a little bit more forward and still on a no, not on attack, on support. But he's more involved. And then we'll just put you on support. You don't have to go crashing as far forward. I think that makes sense. Let's just rotate that around. Shaq is on a yellow. Again, that, I don't know what's happening with the highlights. This is going a bit odd. They're looking to defend wider. It's an interesting decision. When you've got 10 on the pitch, you'd think you'd go narrower, wouldn't you? Am I crazy? Something's in, something's in me eye. Something's in me eye. Swings it over Vecchio. I mean, there's no one around him for acres. Plays it over Carranza. Oh, what a ma- That was a monster save from the keeper. Because that was a monster shot. We're going to take Shaq off. Bring DeBoer. <laughs> what are we going to do here? Because uh, I was going to take Nielsen off as well. Because he's on the yellow. He's got the yellow risk. I think we do this. I think I'm going to change it back. And that way we can use Evan in a more natural position. But Go on then. Go on then, Evan. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully this doesn't matter. It's a little iffy having the two playmakers next to each other, but one's a little bit deeper, you know, it's fine. That way we protect the yellows. I'm going to give one last praise, people. This is a massive result. I mean, I, I feel better that we were we were up by two before the second yellow sending off. We will take a nothing result, or I mean, nothing highlight here at the end. That was a terrible pass. Davis, son, what you doing? Amuzu. Sarda. Oh, okay. DeBoer is there, though. Rottier trying to make an impact on the game. Vecchia. Again? No. Referee's like, nah, that'd be harsh. <laughs> it was a good tackle. Get in. After a nil-nil away, I wasn't so sure. I think we did a good job managing this time. The second one was a good one. Well, yeah, I mean, we did give the away goal and, you know. Oh, unbeatable achievement unlocked. You can't see that. It's popping up right here on my screen. Um, I'm still not sure it happened. Did anybody else get that bug? Did you see that with a 3-1? You see it and then the rest of the screen appears. I don't think that's my graphics card. I think that's just a bug. Uh, look at the other results. PSV. I went PSV. 4-3 uh, over AEK Athens. Spartak Moscow in extra time. 3-2 over Ghent. And then Leverkusen gets through Villarreal on a 4-2. Decent result. Decent match. On to the next one. Hey, Jer Tubin. Hayer Tubin. Whatever your name is. You know, you might be a little bit more... Oh, wow. A little mind game action. I don't try and play mind games. I just try and answer the questions honestly, people. Um, so we get either Lokomotiv Moscow or AC Milan, who I think had the lead. Yeah? Yeah, the one nil. Their game is today. So let's just find out who we play. And as expected, we get AC Milan. Who? What was the score line? Okay, they did. I mean, it was a 1-1. One -one, so, you know. So 2-1 over the aggregate. And, uh, oh, it took them extra time because, yeah, because it would have been, they had an away goal and then Locomotive had an away goal and then they score in the 98th minute, my friends. They've got seventh place Fiorentina and first place Napoli right before our game. And then they play Roma in 10th and then Sampdoria afterwards. They're currently third in the league, so they got a lot of pressure on them. Whereas we're like, you know, hey, what's up, boys? We're at eighth. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we finish eighth to like 13th. The money's all the same. How you doing? Come on down. Um, we get Head and Vane first, though, away from home in 14th. And then we host AZ. And I will bring you back for AC Milan. That will also be an extended highlights. Again, I'm trying to mix up my uh, recordings here. I like the extended highlights in the big games because that's a, that, that this in the club's history is a massive game. The Euro Cup 2 slash conference, Europa Conference League quarterfinal first leg, as you do. Easy for me to say, my friends. If you've enjoyed this, hit that like button. Uh, happy holidays to you and yours. I hope that we can get to 2021 as soon as humanly possible. Let's be honest. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>